How's everyone doing tonight? And we're back in Spira. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go start from where I was at and talk to people, I think. It's like I barely even remember where we were. Come on, okay, we were let's... gonna take the dinosaur. Yeah, Barry. we're going on the shoe puff. Rotten Ride song. Ride shoe puff? I forgot I had money. no money I have. I could have recorded, maybe in the, I think in the last episode, you, you could, it's because you went shopping last episode, I think. Oh, straight up. I probably should have saved it for this area. Oh, well. Ten years ago. <laughs> ah, a history lesson? <laughs> Jack saw his first shoe puff here. <laughs> Surprised, he drew his blade and struck it. What? Why? He was drunk, thought it was a fiend. Brother. Oh my we offered God, all the money funny. we had as an apology. <laughs> Jack never drank again. Oh, Jack shit. never drank again. That, 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 that was shoe Jack. puff still works here. Oh my God, that big old scar on its leg is because your dad fucking attacked it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's so funny. It's just like that was Jack's rock bottom attacking the shoe puff. Oh my God, that's remind me of this. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's like everybody's got their rock bottom, I guess. That's like that's... it didn't take going into a whole nother fucking world, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. getting arrested, going on some weird grand adventure. Nope. Yeah, like the that's the equivalent of someone getting drunk and fucking a attacking a bus. Exactly. It's just like that was the moment. Mm -hmm. It's like he never drank again, and then it was like. He didn't even realize he was addicted to Titus, doesn't even regret any of the past actions, just like, uh, yeah. He's like... <laughs> just imagine at the end, Jack Scott, like, his like arm around Titus' shoulder, the end of the story, he's like, listen, love to hear about listen, the listen, super. no, listen, he sticks his hand around his shoulder, and he's like, son, if I could go back in time and do things differently, I would have never attacked that shoe puff. <laughs> Like he had like a weird moment with the shoe puff where he looked into the shoe puff's eyes and saw the absolute anguish and as felt he the cut love his leg and felt the and love then he, he sat would've... there and whined like a puppy. No, it's like I saw it in his <laughs> eyes and I felt the love of a child that I've never felt before. He had like a spiritual awakening with the shoe Basically, puff. Basically, <laughs> he fucking he loved that shoe puff more than Titus. <laughs> And trying so hard not to, like, die. Yeah, we try to keep it down. We don't want to laugh too hard, but that's so it, true. if you don't know, it's currently 2 a.m., and I do have a downstairs neighbor who yelled at me recently. He didn't yell, he just politely brought to your attention the fact that we were too loud. Because we were making Whatever. fun of Titus. Yelled, politely told me. You're like, either the way, same thing. either way, it was confrontation. <laughs> and I had to up my anxiety medicine because of it. <laughs> Pity. Oh no, I want to hear the story. Damn it. Pity. Like, never mind, tell Pity. me. Would you like to hear a bit about the. I would love to hear about the Very well. There are many things we do not know about the shoe puff. Like, for who example, is the drunk what does it eat? It eats nothing. <laughs> the water it sucks through its schnoz somehow supports its considerable size. Schnoz? Some it says schnoz. It eats right? teeny weeny. It's hard to be water the ball Teeny weeny? How does this guy mm. supposed to be like a whale, like with like? And that, as they say, is that? Is this guy supposed to be like the wise old man, and he yeah, said words? Yeah, he just straight up said all weenie. that. <laughs> he said teeny weeny and schnoz. Hey, I'm feeling so yeah, no money. The driver know when you're ready. I have an idea. Since you actually know this game, why don't you talk to the merchants and see if they have anything worth getting, and then either grind or sell stuff to get it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know this game okay. that well. Because <laughs> it was one of those things. I played it twice, but like I couldn't. Riding tell a shoe you. puff isn't that much fun. Lulu, <laughs> stop being such a killjoy. How She's little you know? <laughs> Some things little boys never grow out of. Some little boy right? Are you the little boy, Waka? I guess so. 
We're both little boys. The merchants here are wily. Pick your shop well. Because it's so funny, too, because it's like Lulu's supposed to be such a curmudgeon, but she's like, what, 21? You know what I think would be kind of cool with this game? <laughs> yeah, I think she's only like 22, yeah. You know what I think would be cool with this game? A battle system where you could have, like, where you could fight each other. Yeah. Like, I'm surprised they never, they didn't make that a thing, where it's like, you build your party, and then, you know, your per your friend on his Rise other save builds his party. Off. And then, and then what happens is, um, All aboard. you put in two memory cards in each slot, and then you put in, you know, two controllers, and then you go into battle mode, and then, you know, you build your party, and then you guys fight each other. I mean, I'm sure other Final Fantasy games have done it. Launching. I mean, they should. It'd be such a huge result. Like, they always change the mechanics just a little bit just to keep it fresh, but, you know, it's still like that turn-based system. It's just which kind. Mm-hmm. I like the cute story of uh, hey. Yuna being like huh? like falling Take overboard, a look. and then the shoe puff like lifted what? her in, mm -hmm. and then like she had so much fun doing it the first time she jumped Whoa. again. <laughs> yeah, you got a fan fiction you read? No, that's the actual story. A sunken story. city. Oh, I didn't see it happen. A yeah, mark in a city, a yeah. thousand years that's old. Cute. They built the city on top of bridges across a river. Bullshit. They built but that the weight city of the city roll. caused the bridges to collapse, and it all sank to the bottom. Right. It's a good lesson. How come they don't go over this and like yeah. tend to? Why build a city over a river, yeah? Uh, you know well, it, it would be for, convenient for with all that Titus water there. And to go explore no, this that's not why. They just wanted to prove they could defy the laws of nature. And you know, can walk on hmm? the. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. And, like, dance Yevon has taught us. <laughs> when humans have power, they seek to use it. If I you mean, don't stop them, they go too far, yeah? Too far off. Mm -hmm. See, that's the problem with most Yeah, but don't you cults. use Machina too? They all have some truth Like to the them. stadium and stuff, True. right? And I don't mean that in like a spiritual Yevon, way, like maybe it the message of God. And no, basically which the people who are we may making use this shit up and which we may not. put true stuff in it to, so, so that So what like, kind of Machina may we not use then? Remember Operation Meehan? That kind. Or war will rage again. Oh yeah, what's it called? War? Fucking uh, the voice of uh, Bender is back for the new Futurama. More than a thousand a years news. ago. Nice. Mankind waged war using Machina season, to kill. Because Futurama's getting another season, which is funny, because, like, the show they has ended, like, three times more and more powerful already, I think Machina. it was. Yeah, they it ended originally on so Fox, powerful. and then I think it went to Comedy Central, it was and it ended there again. It was thought they could destroy the entire world. Adult Swim, maybe I'm misremembering The people feared that Spira would be destroyed. And now they're bringing it back, and they're going to end it again. But the war did not stop. What, what happened then? Sorry, some real, like, heavy shit is happening. Sin came, and it destroyed the cities and their Machina. Sorry, I just the tuned it out like what was going on one of his racist And our reward <laughs> was sin. <laughs> you know, you know when so, you're, you're sins racist. So, sins are punishment for letting things get out of hand, eh? You know how, like, you're, you're racist, I uncle? I tuned out just like That's I tuned out my racist uncle. <laughs> now, you yeah, see what's it, it called? The fucking, um... <laughs> but it's that one not line like right the there is a great demonstration of the... Called the uh, I don't have a racist uncle. Only as bad as their users. It's because of people like the Albed screwing everything up. You have... I think all, uh, all of your speed. family members probably have some problematic folks in the race. Probably. Like, I'm Sit not gonna down. say... Oh, I can see your I, family sorry. having some problematic ah. views as well. Oh, I'm the not denying it either. Yeah, they definitely do. I think, like, just white oh, families Yuna just got captured again. <laughs> Yuna got captured again. Yeah, straight up, like, and... That was something that was funny with Spoonie. What he did was, when he did his review of the game, he actually had a timer. I know, sorry, a counter, and it, it was actually a running joke, keeping track of how many times you have been kidnapped. <laughs> but, um, no, no, it's one of those things where it's like, your family definitely has some really problematic views, because I'm not going to say who, but one of your family members, <laughs> basic, white family members basically did the Chris Rock bit, black people compared to N-words. Okay. You, you basically said to me, like you said to the black person, oh, he's an N word, but not all black people are N words. You know, there are black people and they're N words. They're separate. I'm like, please don't talk to me. Don't, I'm just don't like. Don't say things like that to me because. Exactly. Like someone like that was a criticism Chris Rock got because he felt because a lot of people felt like that gave white people reign to use the word. Yeah, but it's one of those things where my opinion is, as as a white man, it's not really my place to criticize how a black man critiques his own culture. True. 
And that's the end of today's episode. We got deep out of nowhere. Right. Critical race theory. <laughs> All right, guys. Till next time. Bye. Bye.